Time now for Sid Six Zero. This is where you get 60 seconds to talk about anything. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. When you spent the majority of your salary cap on four forwards in the NHL, you better make sure they're all producing. Because if they don't, you're in trouble. Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner right now, fine. In fact, they're better than fine. The line with Michael Bunting is doing an amazing job. But the John Tavares, Willie Nylander pair, a little off. Nylander has one goal this month, that's it, and has become a defensive liability, which got him demoted to the third line Saturday in Montreal. Now, how did he follow that up against Florida the next night? This is how. Keep an eye on 88 in front of the net wearing blue. Has no idea what he's doing. Literally no idea what he's doing in his own end. Turned himself into a pretzel. That was the go-ahead goal. Leafs eventually won the game. It's a big win for them. But Nylander did nothing to get out of Sheldon Keefe's doghouse. He was arguably Toronto's best forward last postseason against the Habs. He's nowhere near that now. He needs to find it and soon. Jeff Merrick joining us on the line from Palm Beach, Florida, the site of the GM meetings. We're going to talk Nylander, but I'd like to divert. Uh, as, sure. as most of you know, uh, Eugene Melnick passing away last night at the age of 62, owner of the Ottawa Senators. Jeff, it's good to talk to you. Um, yeah. Your initial reaction to this, to the sad, sad news, and any any update on what the league might have planned today or, or over the next several days? Well, well, that's just it. I mean, the initial reaction is sadness. And listen, uh, one of our colleagues, Roger Lajoie, has worked with uh, the, you know, Eugene Melnick and the Melnick family and the Ottawa Senators, you know, off and on for what is it, Sid, like 20 years now, Long time. I, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, I, I thought about Roger. Uh, and how much of a supporter he's always been of Eugene Melnick, who at times, as we all know, has been, you know, both, you know, much loved for rescuing the, uh, rescuing the Ottawa Senators once upon a time, and you know, then uh, not exactly the the, the most popular uh, person uh, in in the nation's capital. Being an owner of a hockey team is. Let's just say complicated um, sometimes. Um, today at the GM's meeting, Gary Bettman is poised to speak. He was going to do a presentation uh, on a couple of different things, um, but we would imagine that at, at some point today that uh, the commissioner, who's already you know who made comment right away after Melnick passed away at the age of 62 yesterday, I would imagine that he would say something, and the NHL would do something here uh, in West Palm to uh, to honor the uh, the the, uh, the life and times of Eugene Melnick for sure. 90 seconds is not nearly enough time here to answer this question, Jeff, so forgive, okay. me ahead, forgive me ahead of time. But, you know, I think a lot of the conversation today in Ottawa and around the league will be uh, twofold. You know, there will be people remembering what he did for the organization. Sens were in trouble yeah. back in 03. They uh, they, people did not know if the team was going to stay there prior to the purchase of Eugene Melnick. But there's right. also, listen, there's a bu there, there was a bunch of fans uh, th through the end of, 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 of Eugene's life here on earth who weren't fans of Eugene. Um, what, how, what is his legacy? Because it's a complicated one. Uh, it is a complicated one. Um, did he, quote unquote, save the Ottawa Senators? Well, absolutely, he did. Um, you know, what did he give? You know, was he given a, uh, a sweetheart deal for the uh, for the for the team and the rank? Absolutely. Um, did people always agree with how he? You know, treated certain players, and we think of Daniel Alfredson, and you know, maybe the greatest Ottawa Senator player of all time, and how he's been disenfranchised from the organization. Um, you know, there was always the accusations of, you know, were the Ottawa Senators spending enough money to remain competitive with, you know, their chief rival, the the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, the, the, there is one, there is one thing that I think we absolutely cannot deny, though, about the Ottawa Senators under Eugene Melnick. There was an era there, in and around what about would you say said about 2005 to 2008 yep. somewhere in there maybe a little bit previous oh, yeah. where they where they were probably the best team to not win the Stanley Cup and Very if true. you look at all whether it's Hosta whether it's Chara whether it's Albertson you know uh, Havlad go right down the list that was an elite level team that was put together and I think unfortunately for, for his legacy that team didn't win the Stanley Cup but they were probably the best team in the NHL there were some good times you know sometimes it, it, it's tough towards the end here to remember that if you're some of the fan base and today's really not even about that but you know yeah. considering who he was he was the owner of an Ontario NHL franchise you know you got to talk about a lot of things that happened on the ice but that era Jeff you're bang on 
those were those were the those were the good old days for the Sands. Oh, no doubt great about teams. it. Jason Spezza, Spezza. In, in his prime, right? No like doubt. It was Dominic Hasek in that. Like that was an elite, elite team. And I, you know, Hasek getting injured at the Olympics probably you know starched what what could have been an epic run for, for sure. This team. And those and those playoff series with the Leafs are some of the best I've ever covered in my life. I don't think I'll top oh. them. They were unbelievable, and vicious, we, vicious. We all have we all have memories in a haunts Ottawa of Joe Newendike coming down the side and yeah. throwing knuckleballs past Patrick Willeem. <laughs> it's a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> Very good point. We got. We don't have the time, Jeff. You're fantastic. The Jeff Merrick Show, Sportsnet 590, the fan, 32 thoughts of the, the podcast with Elliot Friedman, and he's down in Palm Beach, Florida, for the GM meetings. He's busy. Jeff, appreciate you. Thanks, brother. Thanks, pal. You be good, Sid. Take care.